Okay, so for quite a few years I've wanted to build a musical Tesla coil, and it's, it's a project I've put off, I've never really gotten around to, and then the other day I went and Google, and I started Googling for some schematics for a musical Tesla coil, and I came across this one Tesla company on kickstarter.com, and their kit looks so nice, They're, they did such a great job on this, that I decided to go ahead and buy one, build it up, and uh, test it out. One Tesla has no idea I'm doing this video and this review on their product, but um, I've gone through the process, I've built this thing up, I've gone through their manual, and all I can say is they did an excellent job. I did run into a hang-up, um, and it was my own fault. It had to do with the, uh, I'll just share it here real quick. It had to do with the R, uh, let me see here. I had a mix-up with the R3 resistor, which is a 10K uh, resistor, and these 1K resistors. And uh, that was probably because I was assembling it up under some uh, lighting that wasn't the best. And the difference between those two resistors is very subtle. It's a red and an orange color difference. Anyway, I was racing ahead building this board. Um, because of that little mix-up on my part, I blew out, I don't know, 20 fuses, four or five sets of IGBTs. <laughs> I, I was really pulling my hair out trying to figure out what the issue was, and then I went back and just started testing the component values and comparing them against uh, the specs here, and that brought up uh, my mistake. So anyway, got that cleared out of the way, and apart from that, I think this thing would have fired up on the first try without any issue, because as soon as I got that fixed, it's just run, work like a charm. I really like the, um, the fiber optic cable that isolates this from the Tesla coil. So if I plug my laptop into this or my keyboard, I really don't need to worry about um, anything coming back through any wires or anything and burning out my electronic equipment. So overall, great kit. Um, this video will go over some of the build process, some of what I went through in building it, the unboxing of it, etc. But Okay, so I've gotten up early this morning because um, I, my son's turning three and it's his birthday and it seems like the only time I have time to shoot a video these days is like Somewhere four or five in the morning. But uh, anyway, so speaking of getting up early, who should wake up already? Tainan. <laughs> okay, so I started nice and early this morning, but you can see that the birthday boy came down early. Is today your birthday? Mm -hmm. How old are you going to be? Three. You turned three years old. Should we open this box and see what's inside? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think, Patrick? Should we see what's yeah. in here? Mm -hmm. got this neat tape that says one Tesla on it. Oh wow, look at this. There's some beautiful boards. We're going to have to uh, populate this with some oh, components. Boards. Slow down, boys. Yeah, you, you like the bubble poppers, don't you? Like That's it. the important thing. But before we get to there, let's look at this. Now one of the things that really impressed me with uh, one Tesla was this beautiful manual that they created. This manual right here is a crash course in electronics and just excellent quality manual going over resistor values, capacitors, the whole theory and operation of a Tesla coil. So I've got a, a nine-year-old son that I'm really looking forward to going through this project with and uh, it's going to be very educational but excellent job on the manual guys. All right, let's put the board in here. Here, watch out, guys. Let's scoot this back and set these things here. Wow, look at this. This is a spun toy. Look at this, guy. This is beautiful. You can you can take the bubble poppers in a second. Very nice. So going into the box a little more and looking at all the parts, i um, really impressed with the fine job on the coil lining. This is a beautifully wound coil, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it in the bubble wrap and uh, not let it out of there just to keep it safe for now, but a uh, very nice job on the coil winding. So Anyway, all the parts look great. Um, they've had a lot of these uh, cut acrylic parts all ready to go, so really a uh, Overall, a very nice, uh, nice setup of parts. So here we have a lot of this. This looks like laser-cut acrylic. Just all the parts to uh, put together for the base and coil supports and forms, etc. So really nice, nice kit. So 
I don't know when I'll get around to it, maybe tonight or whatever, but we'll fire up the soldering iron and uh, start putting the uh, components down on the board. This will be a very fun project. Okay, so I just want to point out that the level of documentation with this kit is amazing. You know, I've never bought anything from a Kickstarter uh, company. And these guys got their start on Kickstarter, but uh, I opened this up and I started going through this, and this is just unbelievable. I believe you can download a PDF uh, to their documentation, but they go over all, not only how to build this thing, but the theory on how a Tesla coil works. Um, you go on past that, you've got uh, the schematics. They get into the components, um, but beyond that, they get into uh, you know how to solder these components correctly. Just there's such a wealth of information in here. And uh, as I as I went through this, I was just so impressed. I thought I needed to stop and just say what a great job on documentation. And uh, even if you don't want to build this particular Tesla coil kit, you may want to download their PDF on this uh, manual and just have this as a resource on Tesla coils. You know, they got great startup procedures here. This is startup procedure if you have a scope, if you don't have a scope, um, all sorts of uh, information along there primary assembly, but again, every page has excellent clear pictures with, you know, how to do this step by step. Um, great documentation uh, to go along with that on the side, but uh, all kinds of Tesla coil operating rules. Just, again, I'm used to getting a kit and a lot of times having basically no documentation or very, very little, especially from the uh, do-it-yourself maker crowd, but this is just an incredible level of documentation and uh, with documentation this good, it's going to really help avoid a lot of the pitfalls and spots that you could go wrong on a project like this. So, Anyway, I uh, just wanted to point that out. And again, to the Tesla one guys, excellent job on the documentation. Really appreciate this level of uh, documentation. Okay, so I'm proceeding with the board. I'm starting to solder down the uh, components. So far everything's been going very smoothly. The okay, so um, another little missing component issue. Um, these 4148 diodes, or the signal diodes. I'm supposed to have two of them. I'm supposed to have two of the uh, large power diodes. Somehow in this kit I ended up with four of these uh, large power diodes. And I've got one of these uh, 4148 signal diodes. I also have one other uh, 4148 signal diode, but that's for the um, other board, for the uh, driving board, interrupter board. So anyway, um, it's not that big a deal because these components are very common components. So I went down to my shop and I uh, salvaged some. I've got a ton of circuit boards down in the shop that I just salvage components off of, so I've got a couple there. So anyway, I'll proceed. Okay, so I've got the main board finished here and it's a real beauty. Can't wait to get this uh, in the case and working, but... Uh, I'm impressed with the board design. Yeah, very, very nice. And now I'm moving on to the little uh, interrupter board here. They'll provide the MIDI signal to the main board. Okay, so I've started uh, laying down the resistors on the board here. And again, I've run into a situation in which I have two of one resistor value that I only need one of, and I'm missing one of the resistor values, which is a 100K resistor here. And instead, I've got two of the 3.3K resistors. So I'm going to take another trip down to the shop. Um, I may rob one off an old uh, board of some sort. I got a bunch of boards down there for recycling. Maybe I've got some in uh, inventory. But anyway, um, again, excellent documentation, but definitely I'm having occasional issues where I'm ending up with more of one component and missing one of the others. So definitely could be a little improvement in that respect, but uh, the documentation is great. So it's proceeding along nicely. I'm just looking in the uh, pots for uh, adjusting power and frequency and the toggle switches for on and off. So overall it's uh, getting close. Okay, so I started on the interrupter testing phase and they've got this really nice system that you can go through on the manual and if things work correctly move on to this point and if not work through the issues. So. Anyway, I've been going through that. So far, everything's working fine. Um, you can see here that the frequency comes from the uh, fiber optic cable over to this board, because when I flip this on, the green LED over here comes on. And I can also adjust the power and the frequency on that. So things do appear to be working correctly. We'll get this uh, buttoned up and put in the housing.
Okay, so I've backed up here on the project and now I'm in a troubleshooting mode. I did connect the uh, whole system all up. I went to do the first test.